A look at what's going on in the big picture. Until Wednesday afternoon or more likely the evening, I think we'll see some off and on rain, especially during the day tomorrow. And then again, late in the day uh, as a cold front, which is right on into here right now, producing all kinds of, uh, it's got all kinds of severe thunderstorm watches with it. Uh, but again, there are a couple of them. Uh, but that's not moving in until Wednesday afternoon and later uh, uh, in the afternoon, more likely the evening hours. Rainfall for today during the daylight hours. We saw some rain during the morning hours. It was fairly heavy over the peninsula. But things have, wind, have been winding on down during the evening hours, and like it, are made pretty quiet overnight. We would add anything overnight. All that you saw was just the clock moving for the most part by seven o'clock tomorrow morning. How much do we add during the day today, uh, tomorrow? Uh, we could add around three tenths of an inch, around a third of an inch here, uh, some places more. But there could be these little patches here and there, anywhere within the area, which could have some very heavy rain through to, uh, tomorrow afternoon and then into the evening hours as well. But then it settles down overnight and remains pretty quiet for most of the day coming up. Look at this. We can see a spot here and there where over two inches of rain or over an inch of rainfall into the area on some of these thunderstorms moving through. That's through Wednesday morning at 7. Most of the day on Wednesday looks rain free. And then at the very end of the day, that cool front approaches our area. And then we'll start to see some rainfall again. But then we're done with it. Here's a look at what's going on between now on into Wednesday evening. The medium range version of future track. This front is pretty well stuck over the top of our area into tomorrow morning. But then it's starting to live north and lose its identity just a little bit. But it'll still provide a focal point for seeing some showers and thunderstorms into the area. They fire up during the afternoon heat and humidity. It'll be humid as well. Uh, those are things are right, but one in the afternoon. And look at this by three, four in the afternoon. It's just blossoming with th thunderstorms into the region. And we could see some strong winds out of any of these coming up for the day tomorrow. There's where we are by tomorrow evening at 7. That front is still out here. And you can see the little spots of red, even the dark red. The dark red can indicate some very heavy rainfall into the area. But then it settles down by 10 o'clock in the evening and for the overnight hours. Now, Wednesday, most of the day looks to be rain free. We get to 4 o'clock, though, and we start seeing again uh, some things pop with this cold front dropping on in. Now, this is just updated just prior to the dinner hour uh, and it shows this front dropping all the way through our area in Virginia anyway by seven o'clock in the evening however the longer range forecast model this is what we're using the euro for this one uh, this is still showing it holding on off to our west but moving through later in the evening so uh, regardless we are seeing a chance of late day showers and thunderstorms into the area and the summer total of it is by Thursday morning we get the northerly wind we get the drier air and how long does that stick around really pretty Pretty much sticks around with sunshine all the way on into the weekend. Uh, remember the past couple of weekends, we've had some heavy rainfall into the area. Well, this time, this weekend, this upcoming weekend, looks like it'll be dry through the region. Well, no, a stray shower, but even then, that's not very real likely. So, uh, our best chance of rain the next couple of days until that cool front comes through. Tomorrow, very good chance of rain. It's not going to rain all day, but we got a very good chance of rain, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Tomorrow, uh, then we move on into Wednesday. The bulk of the day is pretty quiet, but then later in the afternoon into the evening hours as that cool front moves in, that's when we'll see some good sized thunderstorms drop on in. And that cool front does indeed cool things off for Thursday all the way into the first part of next week.